Delicate Arch is a 52-foot tall freestanding natural arch located in Arches National Park, near Moab in Grand County, Utah, United States. The arch is the most widely recognized landmark in Arches National Park and is depicted on Utah license plates and a postage stamp commemorating Utah's centennial anniversary of admission to the Union in 1996. The Olympic torch relay for the 2002 Winter Olympics passed through the arch. Delicate arch and adjacent large panhole at sunset, February 2011 because of its distinctive shape, the arch was known as the Chaps and the School Marms Bloomers by local cowboys. Many other names have been applied to this arch including Bloomer's Arch, Mary's Bloomer's, Old Maid's Bloomer's, Pants Crotch, Salt Wash Arch, and School Marm's Pants. The arch was given its current name by Frank Beckwith, leader of the arch's National Monument Scientific Expedition, who explored the area in the winter of 1933 to 1934. Although there is a rumor that the names of Delicate Arch and Landscape Arch were inadvertently exchanged due to a signage mix-up by the National Park Service, this is false. This arch played no part in the original designation of the area as a national monument in 1929, and was not included within the original boundaries, it was added when the monument was enlarged in 1938. In the 1950s, the NPS investigated the possibility of applying a clear plastic coating to the arch to protect it from further erosion and eventual destruction. The idea was ultimately abandoned as impractical and contrary to NPS principles. Delicate arches formed of Entrada sandstone. The original sandstone fin was gradually worn away by weathering and erosion, leaving the arch. Other arches in the park were formed the same way but, due to placement and less dramatic shape, are not as famous. During the summer, white-throated swifts nest in the top of the arch. Nature photographer Michael Fatali started a fire under the arch in September 2000 to demonstrate nighttime photography techniques to a group of amateur photographers. The fire discolored portions of the sandstone near the arch. Fatali was placed on probation and fined $10,900 in restitution to the NPS for the cost of cleanup efforts. In May 2006, climber Dean Potter performed as many as six free solo ascents of the arch. Climbing Delicate Arch was not explicitly forbidden under the rules in force at the time which only stated that routes may be closed on any named arch, however, most climbers accepted that the named arch formation should not be climbed. The NPS has since closed the loophole by disallowing climbs on any named arch within the park year-round. Slacklining and the placement of new fixed anchors on new climbs is also prohibited. Controversy ensued when photographs taken after Potter's climb appeared to show damage caused by a climbing technique called top roping. Potter stated on several occasions that he never damaged the arch, and no photos exist of Potter using a top rope setup on the arch. Previous climbers may have top roped the arch, leaving the existing rope scars. Potter did admit to using a counterweighted rope over the top of the arch, within a natural groove, as well as four cams in a horizontal crack of harder rock at the summit. He used the rope and cams for protection while rehearsing his free solo route, and to repel back down after the free solos. Two fellow climbers also ascended via fixed ropes, one of whom recorded video of Potter from the top. Utah Portal. Thanks for watching.